testing. Okay, hello. Uh, everyone probably knows I'm Tommy. TJ's favorite and only son. Um, so I just want to come up here and say a few words, tell a story, and then I'm going to open up the mic, which probably isn't a good idea. But uh, for everyone else, if they want to tell a story about him, come up and tell a story. Um, so my story is when from I was five years old, um, I was sitting in the family room eating Nerds, the candy, they come in like a little pink box. And we all know like my dad was a jokester, so I kind of caught on pretty young that he likes to play jokes. Um, and I try to play jokes too, but I was five, so I didn't really have any good jokes. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, this day I came up the, with the most genius prank ever. So I ran downstairs uh, where we had a fish tank um, and the fish tank was empty. We cleared the water out, but it was on the shelf with uh, all the dirty rocks and like stuff in the bottom of the tank. So I reached in and grabbed a bunch of the colorful rocks <laughs> and uh, I put them in the nerds box. <laughs> So I ran back upstairs, and I, my dad was watching TV on the couch, and so I ran up to him, I was like, Dad, 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 like, come, you gotta try these nerds. And he was like, no, no, like, I'm all right, like, no thanks. And I was like, no, come on, like, these are really, really good. And he just wanted to make me feel good, so he took them out of my hand, and they're not like big candies you can take one by one, so he just threw the whole thing in his mouth. <laughs> And he made a face, but I couldn't hold it together, so I immediately started screaming, fish rocks, fish rocks. <laughs> and he tried to laugh it off, but he was so mad. He couldn't really, he couldn't really get me back that bad, because I was five, but that's a story that I have. I've known TJ since we were about 12 or 13 years old. I'm from down the shore. Um, and uh, the first time I met TJ, I, I have a million stories, but I'm not gonna tell you all of them. But the first time I met TJ, I learned how good of a surfer he was because I met him on John's front porch and he had a six inch scar on his leg. It was still bandaged from uh, the surfboard cutting, him, cutting his leg wide open. So yeah, we learned real quick to how great he was at surfing. But, um, I have, like I said, a million stories. TJ, John, Dennis, Jimmy, Tim, they're all my brothers. I don't, I don't have brothers. I have three sisters, but TJ, hands down, was my brother. And um, another really good story was, after college, uh, he had a condo in, uh, was it North Caldwell or? Little Falls. Little Falls, Little Falls, sorry. And uh, he had a party one time. And uh, we're all there, a whole big crowd of people. And I had a few drinks in me. And um, I was at the top of the stairs, and it was carpeted stairs, and I <laughs> slipped. And I slid all the way down those stairs, boom, 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 every single one of them. TJ's standing at the other end of the room, talking to a crowd of people, turns around and goes, escalator broken, Jamie? <laughs> goes right back to what he's doing. <laughs> that was TJ. Never skipped a beat, never missed anything. So um, I don't want to take too much time, because like I said, I have a million stories, but my favorite story about TJ, because this summarizes the man that he was. Okay, so our friend Dennis was getting married. This is 20, the end of 2014. Um, he got married in Argentina, and it was the week after Christmas. And um, that same week, my father passed away. So I wasn't able to go to the wedding, but the rest of the guys all went, and TJ was down there. They did a toast to my dad, I think one of the pictures up there. Oh, look at that, there's John's wedding. Um, and um, so they partied all night long, had a grand time while we were uh, getting ready to celebrate my father's funeral. And TJ flew after the wedding. I don't think he even went to bed. I'm pretty sure he was still drinking. And <laughs> flew from Argentina to Atlanta. And I live in South Carolina now. He took an Uber from Atlanta to Anderson, South Carolina, which is a two hour drive. It's probably a three or $400 Uber. And showed up at my mom's house as we're getting in the limos to go to my dad's funeral. And 
he had to borrow some of my clothes. And he, he stunk like hell. But, but so we go, and he's there, and he's there the whole time. Everybody's obviously upset. And we go to the repast like this for my father. And it's uh, at a bar called Sullivan's of all places. <laughs> wow, I forgot the that part. Yeah, Sullivan's of all places. And we're having a moment like this where people are telling stories. And TJ goes, hey, can I tell the Corvette story? And the Corvette story, just so everybody knows, is I wrecked my dad's Corvette in high school. Never told my family the truth of what happened. But TJ knew the story. And I was like... Eh, what the hell? Go ahead. <laughs> and so he got up in front of my entire family and told them how the truth about me racing and wrecking my dad's Corvette. And everybody just got the best laugh out of it. He was so thrilled. Anything he could do to make me look stupid and make him look good, <laughs> he did it. So, but, you know, he made everything.